Hi, I'm just um, going to introduce you to some of my friends from Hungary called Taste Hungary. Um, they are normally, there's, there's a place that they have in Budapest near the um, Nemzeti Museum, the National Museum, which has a lot of historical um, historical um, just uh, exhibits, but it's down the street from there. And now they have opened up a Washington DC online store to get Hungarian wines, which thrilled me to death because I was looking for a, a wine delivery uh, service and couldn't find anything that would really let me pick what I wanted and you had to join a club and I tried contacting Hungary directly and they couldn't send me something in the states where I live and then all of a sudden I got a, a pop-up ad from Taste Hungary saying you know we are delivering wine in the US and the UK and I know uh, the Bonfalvis, Gabor and Carolyn Bonfalvi, and they have a club for this wine. They have, uh, you can get six bottles, you can get three bottles, you can get more than that. Um, and they have some that are preset at a preset price or you can choose from the wines and the wineries that they have which wines you want. So I decided to get six bottles of wine that I chose from the wineries they use. And I completely trust their taste. I've been to their tasting table um, venue, which has wine pairing dinners. They do wine tours, so they know all these different wineries and um, they will, in the wine club, start bringing in different wines from different wineries and um, one of them I'm hoping to get um, at some point uh, that I think they were talking about and I'm not going to say what that is because it's a surprise from what I understand. But I have talked to Carolyn and um, Gabor and this is what I got. I got this delivered by FedEx. Right now there is a special for $10 outside of Washington, D.C. If, if you order from Washington, D.C., you can get free delivery of the wines that you choose. Anywhere else in the U.S. except Alaska, I think it is, is $10 flat rate. And it came by FedEx. It came within a few days. I wasn't sure if it would be a week but it, it's coming even before some of my Amazon Prime stuff. And not only did they send me the wines, they sent me a whole packet of, um, here's some, some information on different wine regions, which um, I am familiar with, but I wanna read and see what they have to say about the different, the Balaton, Balaton and the um, Sexad region, um, Balaton, Red Chopak region, but they also sent a write up tasting notes on each wine with a photo from that winery. And some of them have the, uh, the winery owners. So I did order two bottles of Kopas Hedge, which is Bald Hill. Kopas is Bald, Hedge is Hill. Um, it's the same exact wine. And that's white. I wanted to get three whites and three reds. So they had, um, where's the other white? Oh, the other white I got was not this one, Marga. Marga. And it's a Furment um, Olas Riesling. And that one is from the Balaton Fred Chopak region, as is Magma, um, which is a Cape Francos. And I'll talk about that in a minute. But the Copas Hedge uh, Olas Riesling, uh, this is, these are Olas Riesling, this is Ferment Olas Riesling. Olas Riesling is an Italian um, Riesling. It's actually Welsh Riesling, but it, Olas means Italy, uh, Olas 
Italian actually, Olas Orsa is Italy. Olas Riesling, it's a nice dry, although you can have non-dry Olas Riesling, but this is a nice dry, um, it's 100% Olas Riesling grapes here. It's near the Balaton, um, the big lake. So they have the reflection from the lake. They usually have the hillsides. Um, this is from the Balaton Ferret Chopac. Uh, from St. Donat Winery, and these are from also St. Donat. And um, actually, I don't know his name. I met the Tomasz Kovacs. I met him at the tasting table in um, Budapest, and he it was great. They had a dinner with it, but it's, it's located on the Tihan Peninsula, which is the north side of uh, the Balaton and um, they have wine festivals in Balaton Fured. Um, this is, these are medium bodied wine, pure, juicy, fruity on the palate, it's described as great with fish, soft cheese, chicken and other poultry dishes and salads. Now I am cooking up a leek soup and a polenta with goat cheese. So I want to have one of my, uh, wines with that. I'll probably have the Copas Hedge. Um, these are, uh, he hand harvested the grapes on September 4th and the year is 2018. So this is the Copas Hedge and that's the label. Let me just pause for a second. Okay, so um, yeah, my leek soup was going to overflow here. So then the other white is the Marga, Marga. It's got the accent over the A, Marga. <coughs> and that is from St. Donat as well. And this is a, a blend of ferment 80% and Olas Riesling 20%. Ferment is um, also the wine that's produced in uh, Tokai region and used, the, the grapes are used in Tokai Asu. And I have a Tokai Asu here I can show you, but um, it's one of the grapes. There's also Harsh Leveleu is in, is in the Tokai region, but Ferment is becoming a very popular dry white wine. And these, um, Vineyards are um, in Chopak's Najkut Kish Hedjaya and Sita Hedge vineyards. Um, and they get the lake effect of the Balaton, which is, you know, the reflection of the sun on the hillsides, which um, helps the grapes uh, ripen in a, in a um, different way than if they're not near water. Uh, these grapes were also hand harvested in the second half of September. And the wine is a lemon color with pronounced aromas of honey, flowers, lemon hard candy, um, pear, and a touch of caramel. Mm, that sounds great. And it's full bodied, complex and rich with apricot, orange peel, and quince flavors, and a very long finish. That one sounds really special. So I'm gonna wait until I have a, something a little more special to eat for dinner and I'm gonna have that with it. Or maybe if I ever have social <laughs> socializing time again, but it's ideal with cheese, fish, chicken, pork, veal, duck, and lamb. So it's a white wine that goes well with lamb. Then I have the three reds and I wanted to have some Italian food tonight, um, polenta lasagna, and I was going to have this Pinot Noir which is from Havash and Timar. And that one is from the Eger region, Eger, um, which you know, Egri Bikaver probably. And this is a cooler climate. There are mountains, the Matra Hills um, nearby, but I'm not sure if these are grown in the Matra Hills. Well, obviously they'd be in the Matra region, but they're an Eger and um, they're from 20 year old vines from two different plots in the Kishkuch vineyard. 
Quiche Coach Vineyard. Um, mm -hmm. Fermented in open tanks with punching down by hand, aged for 12 months. And they are, um, it says older 225 liter barrels. It was bottled unfiltered. Only 2,600 bottles were made. And this is, this is described as having um, complex balance between earthy, floral, and red fruit aromas with mushroom, truffle, violet, cranberry, strawberry, raspberry, and some dark chocolate. So that sounds like something that might be good with a mushroom meal uh, if you're vegetarian. It's also ideal with lamb, poultry, and game. I do love to have Pinot Noir with lamb. But I've also read that Pinot Noir goes well with salmon. So um, that's, a, that's an interesting thing because sometimes Pinot Noir is tricky. And I had heard that Pinot Noir was coming out of that area, that region, the Northeast. So I'm anxious to try that. I like having Pinot Noir with pasta because it's a lighter red. And you don't have the heavy red wine with the um, tomato. So we did the Marga Magma. The Magma is a cake francos. Cake francos is one of the most popular grape varietals in Hungary. In Austria, it's called Blau Frankisch. In um, Washington State, the same grape is called, um, now I, that just slipped my mind, um, begins with an L. Um, hold on. Okay, so it's Lemberger, which is what I was thinking, but I wasn't sure because Lemberger cheese, oh, I thought that's on my mind, but Lemberger is the Blau Frankish of Washington State. And Cake Frankosch is the same grape. And this one comes from Tihan region. It's the, um, the winery is um, Tihan's Lappi and Farkashverem vineyards and um, the grapes were harvested late September, second half of September of um, 2017, which was a really nice year for, um, is it reds? Yeah, I have, this is 2017 as well, 2016 Pinot Noir and this one we'll look at soon, but 2017 was a good year. Um, I think because it was hot, I was there in 2017, so, um, it was a good year for wine. Um, Cake Francos is Hungary's most planted grape and is the same variety as Austria's Blau Frankish, which I said. Um, it's aged for 10 months in French barrels. Now, I wonder if it's new barrels because that's called, no, I, you know, I, I was a wine importer for a long time. Barik, Barik, I'm, I'm wondering if it is a Barik, um thing because usually the new new uh oak is barrique but um it's unclarified unfiltered and the wine has a vibrant ruby purple color uh, it's got potpourri and sour cherry aromas medium bodied wine with lovely fine grain tannins lively acidity and minerality it has graphite and earthy notes okay raspberry anise and more sour cherry it's focused and long with a stony finish so that's mineral it goes wonderfully with pork veal duck lamb and cheese so it's nice even for a cheese platter nice nice and i love hungarian wines because they are so smooth and they're not like the hard tannins i used to not like tannins until i my Taste matured a bit, but um, but Hungarian wines were just so smooth; they went down so easily. Now this is a Kadarka. Kadarka is the other Hungarian w red wine varietal that's very popular, and often Kadarka and um, Cake Frankos will be blended together in cuvées, and um, sometimes also the Cake Porto, which is the blue port. Um, Cake Frankos means blue Frank in um, 
you know, if you translate it. But the, this is Bonsai 2017. And this is from Vida Peter uh, in Sexard. Sexard is a nice region north of Vilan. Um, and uh, this is, so, it's southern Hungary, so it's a nice warm area close to um, Mohac, where the, um, my brain is not working today, um, where those, those masked men come out on, uh, at Lent. <laughs> Buyash, is that what they're called? Um, hand harvested hundred year old Kadarka vines from Listesh village vineyard. So Listesh Valley vineyard, which miraculously survived the mass production philosophy of the former regime. This has a pale ruby color, vibrant aromas, flavors of rose hips, ripe strawberries, raspberries, red currants, and black pepper, light tannins, tingling acidity, and on the playful palate. Very elegant, airy, and ethereal. It's great with all manner of spicy dishes, including curry, as well as duck, lamb, and veal. In Hungary, it's often paired with the paprika infused fish soup, halasle, and would go beautifully with any paprika heavy dishes. So that looks to be an interesting wine. Öreg Tukes Kadarka. So I'm not sure why Öreg Tukes. Öreg is, um, does that mean old? Old vines maybe? Because it is 100 year old Kadarka vines. Aged for 17 months in steel tanks since oak can overwhelm the varietal character. Now, interestingly, um, Gabor Bonfavi has Friday nights and Saturday nights online tastings. I believe on Friday nights he has some local Washington, D.C. wine shops. Um, but he does it live. You can order the wine from him or be part of the wine club and do the tasting with them online. And he also saves the recordings of the, those tastings. So if you get the wine and you want to go along with it while he's tasting it and they're talking about it, um, often the, um, the winery owners have been on, but I don't, you know, now that they're in DC, obviously, the Hungarians aren't on, unless they're on the Zoom, the Zoom online um, tasting. Today is Friday, but I don't know when the taste, the tasting thing is and what they're tasting. But if you go to Taste Hungary, what is there? Oh, they also sent me this, which was interesting. Um, a goulash, goulash recipe. Uh, with, it's all hand-drawn uh, recipes by Carolyn Van Falvi. So she's, she's written several books about Hungarian foods, wines, restaurants, etc. And um, I'm also writing a book about Hungarian wine. So um, yeah, we're all enjoying Hungarian wine together. So I just thought I'd introduce them. As you can see, this is their label, Taste Hungry. And um, they're, they're really good people, good friends. Um, they, the tasting table is the thing in Hungary. I did get billed from the tasting table. I'm just looking to see what the, I believe it's tastehungry.com, but I will put that on with this and hopefully you'll try them. Give them a call, let them know you know me. Let them know you heard about it from HungarianAquarian.com and um, maybe join the wine club and then get to taste all different Hungarian wines. They're really very good at choosing really tasty, good wines, good quality wines. They have a good reputation. So thanks for listening. and. Um, I will be doing tastings with Gabor as well, live, um, not, not being interviewed, but 
joining in with him and the group of people who are tasting with him. So hopefully I'll get to see you there. Take care.